नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज द डिमांड फंक्शन फॉर ए गुड इज गिवन बाय q इज इक्वल टू 24 माइनस 3p q इज द क्वांटिटी p इज द प्राइस वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द थ्योरेटिकली मैक्सिमम क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड फॉर ए प्राइस ओके व्हाट विल बी द थ्योरेटिकली मैक्सिमम क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड ओके थ्योरेटिकली मैक्सिमम क्वांटिटी डिमांडेड गिवन दिस डिमांड इक्वेशन ओके we have q is equal to 24 minus 3p this is our demand function okay how to draw the graph of this demand function very simple to draw the graph of this linear demand function we need two points here okay we need two points how do we calculate simple first we put q is equal to 0 when we put q is equal to 0 in this equation what will be uh, this thing equal to so we have 0 equal to 24 minus 3p which implies 3p is equal to 24 or p is equal to 24 upon 24 upon 3 which comes out to be e okay that means when quantity is equal to 0 price is 8 we got two pointers so if we have quantity demanded on this side price on this side okay this is 0 when price when quantity is equal to 0 price is 8 let us say this is a point which denotes 8 okay now to get another point what will we do we will do put put p is equal to 0 in this equation to get the two points here we got two points as 0 and 8 okay this denotes 0 and 8 again we is this time put p is equal to 0 what will be this equation then so we have q is equal to 24 minus 3 into in place of p we have 0 that means q is equal to 24 okay so we again got two pointers q is equal to 24 p is equal to 0 so we have 24 and 0 that means when price is equal to 0 quantity demanded is 24 this is our demand equation okay sorry this is our demand curve and here the intercept is 24 the question was what will be theoretically maximum quantity demanded for a price okay in this equation maximum quantity demanded when price is equal to 0 is 24 okay theoretically possible uh, price is only 0 okay when price is equal to 0 quantity demanded will be maximum that means the correct option should be 24 okay if i give it another way okay you can also think uh, since we have negative relationship between price and demand uh, we can say when price is when p is minimum okay when p is minimum quantity demanded is maximum okay now in this equation i am telling telling this now theoretically what can be the minimum possible price for uh, more minimal po minimum possible value of p okay it is zero okay so if we say p is equal to minus 1 negative price doesn't make any sense theoretically minimum price can be zero okay when we put p is equal to zero here we will we will get maximum quantity when this is zero so 3 into 0 is zero we get maximum quantity okay we say our quantity will be maximum when price is minimum minimum price can be only zero theoretically that means maximum price will be just plug p is equal to zero in this equation you will get q is equal to 24 okay so this was little bit simple